Okay, so today we will be making coffee using the AeroPress. This is my first video, so please bear with me. Um, I'm going to use uh, the inverted style, which means instead of putting this on your mug, then putting this down and pressing the plunger down like this, we'll be using it upside down, so which means inverted. So to get a good um, good position for the plunger, insert it like this, like in an angle I mean, then just press your uh, arrow press down over the plunger and then push it up a little bit. Now, then what we do now is we use our coffee minus pre-ground, I don't know if that's good or not, whatever. <clears throat> I like this coffee and it's easy to use so I'll use two scoops because it's a fairly big mug as you can see so cool. all right that's that. Then what I'm going to do is shake the coffee a little bit so it gets evenly distributed. Now my water is done. Um, I'm going to go get it. So an important thing I learned recently is that you should not have your water Boil, boiling before you uh, pour it on your coffee. So mine is cooled down already a little bit, um, but I'm still gonna pour it on this this little thing to use to stir because it will cool down the coffee and it will reduce the impact of the water falling on your coffee, so you can enjoy a better mug. Now I'm gonna pour. Let's see if I can do this in front of the camera. I will pour slowly and I will pour until the water reaches this this limit here. Then I'm gonna stir it real fast. Now as you stir the water uh, will soak into the coffee and you will end up with um, a little less. But this is this is really what you want so on stirring, stirring, stirring. Okay, tap it off. Okay, so I have already um, used this filter. It's it's wet, so it will stick if you keep it upside down, which is really what you want because we're gonna use the inverted method and. Um, turn it up like this. So we'll wait a little more. I don't really use the timer, just on feeling. In the meanwhile, let me close this. Awesome. So now that I've stirred all of the coffee, all the dirt has come up. All the dirt, you know, a little rougher coffee. I'm gonna twist on the cap. Now, for to to not spill, um, I'm gonna first put the the cup on top of the AeroPress instead of flipping the AeroPress on top of your cup, which might be <laughs> causing some spillage. So here we go. Oh, uh, remember to firmly keep this. Um, like put a little bit of pressure like that because once you turn like this and you're not firmly holding the plunger the plunger might pop off if you've chosen to add one to add more coffee or something um, and uh, your coffee will shoot into your eye or something so be careful with that here we go three two one 
So now we have done invert style. And the trick is to not let go of the plunger because of the, because of the upwards pressure. And now you want to gently press down on your coffee. On your arrow press, I mean. Like instructions on the internet say that um, this should take 30 to 45 seconds. But I don't know. And then there's some other people telling you when to, when to stop. There's uh, different opinions about this. Some people tell you to stop once you hear the, the sound of the just air. Like stop when the water is pressed all the way through. But I don't know. I like to press the air through as well. For some reason. So now it's it's um so this is the part people usually tell you to to stop. For some of them anyway. Now what you don't want to do is push down until this foamy bit. I don't know if you can see it. It's this foamy bit. Don't don't push that down because it will um, it's the bitter part of your coffee you might not want to push that down finishing up Get rid of the drip. There you go. And now you add some more coffee to it. Or more water, I mean. And there you have it. A nice cup of joe. This was me. Trying to show you how to use the air press. Inverted style. See ya.